Hi crew, welcome to another episode of the Captain Calamity Adventures with me, Captain Calamity. Today we're doing two great science demonstrations. One over here is all about blowing up a balloon using carbon dioxide. And the other one is making a lava lamp that bubbles and pops and has bubbles rising like lava up into the bottle. Okay, let's get sciency. That's much better. Okay. We've got a small 250 milliliter water bottle, which I've marked with a tape, probably a quarter of the way up. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some white vinegar into the bottle, just to the mark. Perfect. Now, we're gonna take some bicarbonate of soda or baking soda, and we're gonna put the bicarbonate of soda into the balloon. We'll use the funnel for this. To do that, just get it over the edge of the funnel and then push it down so it's going right into the bottom of the balloon. It can be a little bit of fiddly, but persist with it because it will be worth it. Once you've got it over the top, just a spoonful, that's all you need, a nice heaped teaspoonful. There we go, and pour it in. That will go right down into the balloon. Give it a shake to make sure it's all clear and in. Now another fiddly bit which you might need a parent's help for. Let's get all that powder in. Okay, and we're gonna get a blast of powder now. That's all right, there we go. Okay, there's enough in there. We're gonna get this over the lid of the bottle. Perfect. I'm just gonna adjust the balloon into place. Now, when I dumped, the powder into the vinegar, it's gonna start blowing up as the gas in the bottle is created and starts pushing the gas into the balloon. Should we give it a go? Let's do it. There we go, in it goes. And the inflation starts. Carbon dioxide is a heavier gas than air so this balloon will drop a lot quicker to the floor than a normal balloon would. Okay, there we go. That's how you blow up a balloon using carbon dioxide. Okay, let's move on. So now we're gonna make a lava lamp. You need a lot of oil for this. Go for vegetable oil, because it's the right consistency and it's got a nice clarity to it as well so you can see right through it. Pour as much of this. You want to probably get a whole bottle in there. Okay. Put that to one side. Just going to add a little bit of water. You don't need too much. If you think about it in terms of maybe three parts oil to one part water, that would be good. That'll do. Then we're going to add some food colouring. I've gone for pink. Add that in there, straight into the bottom. That will sink straight down, because the oil will sit on top. Once that's done, we are ready to start. So what we need is a catalyst. That's the thing that's gonna set it off, make it work, get my lid ready, okay? So I'm gonna crush this Alka-Seltzer into the oil and the food coloring mix. Let's go. Let's see what starts to happen. So as it settles, what's going to happen is bubbles are going to start to rise up. We should see a nice reaction. It's already starting to happen, but what I'll do is I'll put another one in as well. So we can speed up the reaction a bit. So what you need to look at now is the food colouring at the bottom is starting to rise up through the oil into the water section at the top. There we go. And you're starting to get all these little red bubbles rising and falling. And what you can do at home is you can get a torch behind it and when you do, you can see it in much clearer clarity. But it's looking really good already. Let's see if we've got some more alcohol gonna drop another one in. The more you use, 
the better the effect. Really starting to go now. Here we go. That's really nice. Oh yeah, we're getting a nice reaction now. So have a look at those bubbles just going up, and when they hit the top, they'll come back down again. And that's how you create your own lava lamp at home. Give it a go. So we've done two great demonstrations today. One with Alka-Seltzer making a lava lamp, and this one here, where we've blown up a balloon using carbon dioxide. All stuff you can do at home with a parent helper. Well, that rounds up another episode of the Captain Calamity Adventures with me, Captain Calamity, and two great science demonstrations. Don't forget to subscribe, and drop me a comment about what you're doing with science at home. But above all, be safe, be smart, be smiley. See ya!